Hope I don't mess it up. I'm pretty sure it's like this. Aggie Pride. We are on North Carolina A&T's campus on Moscow with Aggie. Aggie Pride. First time I pulled off, I was so excited. Like I was literally a kid getting dropped off by his parents at school or something. And uh, couldn't wait, so anxious. It was ready to meet everybody, professors, coaches. I'm J.R. Smith. I am a 36-year-old freshman here at North Carolina A&T, and I play golf. When I stopped hooping, I had so much time on my hands, and I didn't know what to do. As athletes focus on our sport so much that we forget that we also have a responsibility to ourselves to grow as a person as well. For me, being here at HBCU has been amazing because I've never been around so many people that look like me in a positive setting. And I see the pride in it. So a lot of people don't know that Aggie Pride is actually an acronym. So it's achieving great goals in everything, producing renowned individuals dedicated to excellence. So now we're headed to, drop. well, we're driving around campus, but we're headed to see Dr. Dawn Murphy to really get that Aggie Pride. Miss Murphy, how are you? I'm well, Dr. how Murphy, are you? I'm sorry. I'm a little late. I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I hope you have a great excuse. Right? Finals. Oh, finish strong, my brother. <laughs> yes, yes, love it. Give me a, a, a better understanding of Aggie Pride. I know what it is, it's kind of. Uh, I've been here, you know, seven, eight months, and I see a lot of the students have pride in, you know, being here at ANT, but what does it mean to you? Let me ask you, what does it mean to you? To me, it's responsibility. Uh, it's a responsibility to people who came before me as well as laying the path for people who come after me. This, these are the four gentlemen that made a, a huge, huge impact. I definitely feel proud about that sense of history that the school has, specifically about the Greensboro Four. They were freshman students who made such an impact and did such commitment to making sure that we had just basic human rights. These four men did not sit down at that counter. Who's to say where we would be in history right now? I am an Aggie, That's born right. and bred. Yes, ma'am. I went to undergrad and master's here. Okay. My husband works here. My, ch my children attended school here. So it's about a feeling you have of anything that an Aggie does, you're proud of the collective, not individual. Yes, ma'am that Aggie pride is so real. So I always call myself an Aggie. The athletic programs at ANC are just amazing. Um, that's what attracts a lot of people to the school. You hear a lot about how great our track and field teams are. We have an Olympic medalist here. I think two, maybe three at this point. We got these little robots that deliver the food to kids' dorms and whatnot. On this campus, we have a $90 million engineering research innovation center, and we're running towards our R1 certification in terms of research. My daughter wanted to be an engineer. Of course you're coming to ANT. We graduate the, the most African-American engineers. If you hungry at, a, at the homecoming and you leave still hungry, that's your fault. Jiho is the greatest homecoming on earth. That's not us being braggarts, that is a fact. Well, what do you feel like the biggest difference between those, the generations since you were here and now seeing your sons graduate? Well, I, I do think that our students now have understand the power of their voices. Yes. <laughs> than when I was in school. And they will tell you so. <laughs> and and I, I love that they have voices and they have opinions. And we are very passionate about cultivating that, though. I mean, yeah. it's a way to do everything. 100%. Shine your light, brother. You're going to do well. I look forward to seeing you at graduation. And I look forward to working with you. I appreciate you. Thank I feel, you. I really feel like you're my auntie now. So oh, I appreciate you. Bless you. Thank, Thank you, darling. I want to inspire young African-Americans to come back to school, get your education, get your degree, inspire yourself to be something more.